So basically what I'm doing is I'm using a lavalier microphone with a, uh, a belt pack. It's a wireless setup. The receiver is coming over here to our workstation and it's hooked up to the M-Audio, which is an audio interface, which changes analog to digital. All right, so bottom line <coughs> is that to, to start with, we're gonna go ahead and try to get the studio into operating condition. Okay, so for this headshot session, we'll just use this existing white background. We can get some of the dust and trash off of it. And we're not gonna shoot full body, so we don't need to extend it out very far, allow it to have a gentle curve, kind of an infinity curve. And then we can just anchor it with a couple of sandbags. All right, we're gonna go ahead and set up our composition. In this case, we're gonna figure on having our subject on a stool, and we're gonna try to make as much separation as possible from the subject to the background. And then we're probably gonna wanna blow that white background out. And by that, I mean we're gonna put lots of light on the background. And we're gonna probably use either a large umbrella or a soft box for a main light. All right, so this looks pretty close to what I'm gonna want. I'm gonna go ahead and put a, at least a first sandbag on each stand, just so I don't have to worry about them once I put the light on. Uh, a C-stand has three legs. The tall one always goes towards the subject or more accurately towards the load. So if you're, you're gonna use a big umbrella, like the one we're gonna be using on this side, Remember to realize that your load is actually gonna be away from the subject because we're gonna be reflecting into that umbrella. In this case, I'm using a 400 watt studio strobe for my main light, which is gonna be a reflective umbrella. You wanna make sure that this handle turns righty-tighty and in the direction of the load, which is to the right. And then we'll use a couple of 300 watt studio strobes to light our backdrop. We're gonna go for a blown out white look all right, once you get your lights pretty much where they wanna go, you can start running your electrical. When you make up your lights, when you get your power attached, make sure all of your connectors and everything are up underneath your stands. All right, so I'm gonna arbitrarily pick channel one for my lights. All right, I'm gonna shoot with a 70 to 200 zoom lens. These A-clamps, which are probably one of the most valuable and most useful tool in the studio, are generally scattered all around all right, so yesterday we used these big umbrellas. If you notice, there's tennis balls on all of the sharp areas of, these, of this equipment, which keeps people from walking into them and poking their eye out, hopefully, for the most part.